sauce. That's the subject of today. Now, a lot of people wonder what a velouté is. And even before you start, when you hear the name velouté, hmm, that sounds quite fancy. Actually, it's not. Trust me, the velouté sauce is a very classic but basic sauce that is used widely in French cooking for all kinds of purpose. But first of all, what is a velouté sauce? Put simply, it's a white roux mixed with white cooking stock. The cooking stock can be anything from a chicken stock, a veal stock, a vegetable stock, or even a fish fumet or a fish stock. It's that easy. Now, what I personally like about the uh, velouté sauce is it's absolutely easy to make, it's quick, and it's super versatile. I mean, that sauce can be used on its own with white meats. You can use it for soups. You can use it to improve existing sauces, just a touch of it to add some, some consistency. And you can even use it for pies. Make it really thick and make a, you know, a fish pie, a chicken and mushroom and white wine pies and all kinds of preparations. So it's really, really a great thing to learn. So let's have a look. Let's jump on the stove back there with all the ingredients ready and let's make a French velouté sauce. Everything is set up to make how velouté sauce. As you can see, I've got my stock here, which is today I'm using a chicken stock uh, that I've been boiling on the side. I've got my specialty pan here. Uh, remember the rounded saute pan. This is the one and only pan for sauces. So if you use something else, please stop doing this and start using specialty pans because they are made for purpose. And I've got here my white roux. So very first step. With no fire, you take a cold white roux. All the grammage and ingredients are on the description of the video. I put my roux in the bottom of my pan and I'm gonna start like the bechamel to pour half of my liquid, roughly, on my mix. And I'm gonna start to dilute my mix. Now this is exactly the same as making a bechamel sauce, except that instead of milk, we're using stock. Now I'm making uh, a small amount here, so I'm putting the rest of the stock. And like the bechamel, at this stage, when all of the roux has nicely dissolved and it's all incorporated, I'm going to put my fire on high and I'm going to bring this to the boil. The velouté sauce is now boiling. As you can see the first boil appear and my sauce already has thickened greatly. Now depending on the amount of roux you use you can have a thicker sauce or a thinner sauce. Now when you get this first boil you then reduce the fire to little and you're gonna let the sauce cook on a very small fire for around 10 to 15 minutes. That is very important. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here and jump back in when it's done. All right, so the 15 minutes has passed and we're back here with our velouté sauce that is nicely, uh, is, has reduced a little bit and it's kind of ready. So this is basically it. This is a basic velouté sauce. Okay, you can use it like that on some dish or you can uh, make a soup out of it. But most of the time, the velouté, you're going to want to enhance it a little bit or do something. So as an example, today I'm making some chicken. And I decided to use my velouté with a chicken stock. And I need to enhance it a bit because uh, like that, it just looks a, yeah, it's a bit boring. You know, it's just like you want something a bit better. So first thing, I'm going to add the seasoning. So... My stock is not very salty, so I add a nice amount of salt. I'm going to add some pepper. I'm using white pepper because this is a white coloration. It's a white preparation, so white goes with white. Don't take black pepper for white preparation. Okay, I'm going to mix nicely here. Then, chicken goes well with mushrooms. I've prepared just some mushrooms I've cooked slightly. They are not brown, so again, I follow the... Ethic of white with white. 
I'm gonna have some mushroom in here. And to make it a bit more uh, appetizing, because the color is kind of a bit blend, I'm gonna add some double cream. So maybe, let's say one or two spoons of cream. Okay, so as you can see, that sort starts to be much better looking than what it was. Especially the color, it's much more inviting. If you want, you can even add an egg yolk, in which case you don't want to boil it, just if you boil it just for a few seconds and then you put it off the fire. So egg yolks is difficult to handle, so I'm not gonna use that right now. And this is basically it, I can add a touch of parsley maybe. I think I've just chopped some behind. Okay, uh, we want to, we are cooking after all, you know, it's good to do techniques, but that's just to give you a little example of how a sauce is being created based on a velouté. And there we have it. Okay, so this is for instance a uh, mushroom velouté sauce. So that I'm going to be using for either a chicken and mushroom pie or a chicken dish, maybe with a, a poached chicken for instance. All right, so it's very easy. You can try it at home, try it for yourself, and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.